Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to another Starfall video. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can start to make money with outposts. I do have a guide on how you can get a crap ton of XP crafting. That can get you some money, but this one, you it will be passive. Once you set it up, it's all passive income. Besides you coming in, grabbing the stuff, and then going to sell it. That's it. That's the setup, that's all you have to do. Uh, you'll be preferred to have a pretty nice ship and by that I mean a ship with a lot of cargo I have one that I craft uh, made it's class C it has 11,000 cargo obviously normally it's not that much I have payload but decent cargo you know so you're wondering how you can do it you don't need to go into any outpost engineering at all because all you need Oh, do need to research fabricator one, that's about it. But you don't need any uh, outpost engineer. So, you will be making com relays. They call it, it says their value is 117. It is not fully true, you're not gonna be selling for that much. To make them, you're gonna need ISO sun, you need some magnets, and you need tile grade stuff. So, uh, the magnet takes cobalt and nickel, and uh, Tau takes beryllium and copper. So, I found a nice place. Unfortunately, it does take three different apples because I was not lucky. Setting it up, I did level up scanning so I can find easier places to set it up. But, so what you want to do is you go to Iridani system. Alpha Centauri is on the top right of me. So you come here, right, in Eridani. You go to uh, Eridani or B for Beryllium. And if we show, this is where Beryllium is. Right there, at the outpost. Usually you can find it where Aluminum is. So that's pretty easy. You don't need uh, scanning for that, right? You place your extractors, put a bunch of power, some storage, and you put a uh, cargo link. Just the regular, not the inner system. Then you can go to Eridani 2. And then here you have your uh, cobalt and nickel. So you can set up over here. You don't need to uh, have uh, scanning for cobalt, so it's perfectly fine for copper too. Um, we have a copper outpost over here. It does get some gold, but that's for a different thing. So get uh, copper here, we set up our extractors, power, cargo link, you know? Same thing here, except we have two cargo links on this outpost. One for uh, each of the other two outposts. So they come in and they uh, drop off the stuff over here as you can see it's always gonna be full you know always brilliant and since it is as you can see uh, oops, sorry, a regular cargo link it does not take helium because it's all in one system that one it's copper and it goes into that storage those storages feed into those uh, machines I have the nickel and cobalt Unfortunately, cobalt extractors have a little bit more range, so I don't have as much cobalt. I have three machines making me to upgrade Redistot, and three making me the magnets. You can see this stuff is always going to be full. If you want, you can just sell them normally. Obviously, it's not going to sell for much. Um, but I have six. Yes, six that I'm making calm relay. So. Let's take all this out. I can make bigger storages, warehouse ones. But for the sake of this video, I was using the smaller ones due to more than likely people who are trying to do this are uh, not expecting to outpost engineering. So make sure this is all empty. Take all that, take all that, and take it should be there we go pretty low so 
I have gathered. Let's put it all into our ship. As you can see on the ship, I don't have any arm relays. I have aluminum, but that's for a different reason. I was able to make 256 calm relays. So we're going to start it all. I'll be making a little bit more money from here because I do have Commerce 4. If you don't have Commerce 4, you won't be able to make as much money, but you should be able to make money. So, unfortunately, this planet is not good for um, time because one regular hour is one, uh, 45 minutes UT. So what you want to do is you want to get out of this system and you want to go to Seoul. It is right above Alpha Centauri and in there, there's a beautiful planet for waiting a lot of time. It's called Venus. You can just land right here, just anywhere in Venus, and you'll see why. It is definitely, definitely worth going to Venus. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, time can pass. So, we go back into our ship, which will take us a second, and we're going to sleep. And you will see why it is important. Because, well, it is important because the time, or not the time, sorry. The the resource gathering, the same with the uh, your merchant shops, um, like cycle, is based on universal time. Ooh, getting lost a little bit. We can just go in the chair and sit. It's not by regular hours for each planet, it's universal. So over here, as you can see, it's one local hour is 100 universal hours. So let's wait about six hours. That'll be plenty of time for our, uh, actually way more than enough time for our um, outpost to get us some more calm relays. Let's go. And boom. Now, what we're going to do is go back. Also, you'll be able to see how much money I'll make it, and I will show. Uh, I'll have the list up what you need to uh, to make this outpost. It will take a bit of investment, but it will pay for itself in the long run. Trust me. I'll also be making more advanced guide with Fabricator Two, and eventually Fabricator Three, we can get a lot more money. But a lot of this. Stuff takes time to find the perfect planet, to set it up, to make sure it works, test it. So I would appreciate a like, comment, especially subscribe. Because, like I said, it takes a lot of time. So let's grow this channel. Um, but while we're waiting, I also want to say I do have my own Discord. And I do stream every day uh, from 4 p.m. Eastern down on Kick. All the links to that will be down in the description. Unfortunately, not everything filled up. Which sucks, but we'll take auction. Never mind. Never mind, because you can see it filled up a lot. We got nearly 700 com relays. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be something. Let's quickly save, because unfortunately, at least for me, the game does crash a little more often in the later stages so now we're gonna go to alpha centauri and we're gonna see how much all of that sells for we're gonna have over a thousand com relays and there's alpha centauri we'll go to new atlantis because we can sell it to trade authority kiosk and to uh jameson mercantile which will be worth it trust me it's going to be a good amount of money. Especially, like I said, you can make your money doing missions or just run missions. And you will still be able to make just that little more extra cash. Because you're going to need it if you want to build uh, a nice other outpost. Or design your own ship. Buy ammo, just whatever you want. Alright. Let us visit this trade kiosk. So. It sells for 18 Boom, we can make 17 grand over here. It is definitely worth it. 
trust me and what did we do we just set it up and we got it so you're gonna need pretty decent amount of stuff for this not only will i show it to you over here but it will also be down on the screen you can buy those stuff that are going to be listed in jameson mercantile over here in new atlantis you can also buy it in general store and uh the mining store down in uh, what you call it neon and the killer city and other cities that uh have not only mining outposts or not outposts mining shops and general store shops you're gonna need on your ship, then I'm... Oh, please, well take a look. the biggest things is adaptive frames you're gonna need a good amount of them you're gonna need aluminum you're gonna need beryllium you're gonna need some copper where is it at uh iron some come on bit of sealant uh tungsten titanium zero wire and some other stuff like i said all of those stuff will be on the screen the and you can get them like i said you see seen some of it in james immersion town and there's an Achilles City in Neon, so you're gonna need the amount that you need will be dependent on how big or how small you want to make that. Obviously, the bigger it is, the more money you can make faster. But all of that said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to stay awesome. Even if you did, don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.